YouTube Nomad76. So today I'm going to do a brief video on uh, some options for charging your um, your Bofing radios, whether it be the, in this case what I have here is the UV5R-A and then the UV5R. So uh, for other models, you know, I'm sure there's some similarities, but I don't own one, so I can't, I can't um, say exactly how... Uh, you go about that so obviously charging it other than using uh, the wall wart you know at your house or a um, DC to AC you know inverter plugged into your car uh, those options are always of course there uh, but I was looking for the the cigarette lighter adapter type charging um, and either, I think there's a few other videos out there about this but um, uh, first off you have this model, which was the Sasonic, it's the model AD10, which is its input power can be 24 through 24 volts, and its output is 12 volts, which uh, at 1.5 amps, which is your problem partially. Um, so we'll get into that in a second. Then there's the knockoff one. Uh, or just the no name one right here um, that was like three or four dollars I'll throw the prices of both of them in the screen here or down below um, but they both don't have any they don't have any step down if you look on the charge cradle which is the standard uh, or the model uh, CH-5 input power should be 10 volts if you look at the wall wart for there output voltage 10 volts at 500 milliamps so uh, obviously when you get the cradle um, you look here and this is with the Sasonic you just get a steady red light um, no matter whether or not there is a radio in the cradle or not obviously the blinking light um, should be should if it starts charging it should be blinking green so which it does not do um, it, w with either or now one thing I didn't notice here so you take this this is the Sasonic just checking output voltage 12.3 um, now that's the center as the positive which is fairly standard um, to go with the no name same thing 12.3 uh, same way 12 point so um, so you're getting just direct voltage and I'm of course I'm using my uh, little back my power supply here uh, try to get that in the screen you guys have seen it before I'll, I'll throw in some uh, footage where I was kind of testing this stuff in the field a while back and um, wasn't able to get it to work and so I wanted to do a little more research to try to figure out some other ideas um, there is I have seen a um, oops, sorry. Um, so I was trying to find a there's there's one that's just a cradle that has a cord that comes out of it that has a USB style connector um, on it that you should be able to plug into the vehicle but I still don't know if it you know if you got 12 volt output which most of your vehicle ones are five so uh, for like cell phones and whatnot the USB style so um, right now I haven't seen a really good solution to this except for I'm gonna throw this out here this um, the extended life battery uh, which works in the UV5R does not I've, I've heard there's a way to modify it to make in the UV5 Alpha but um it, it does work it does have a input port which you could easily um, use one of these now this is one of those uh, adaptable wall wart style ones it is the I tell you the millimeter size it is the it's a 1.7 millimeter inside diameter and the 4.0 outside diameter um, connector. Uh, so that right there 
will give you the capability of charging this. Now they do, I have seen online um, a few of the cigarette lighter style ones that are supposed to be for this. Uh, the biggest thing is to, to check whether or not if it has that step down voltage. Because these batteries, if you look at them, are you know, 1.7 volts. So obviously a whole lot more than that. And um, you may, you know, probably why they get charged at 10 volts, not 12 volts, because you might uh, you might damage them. So just uh, just throwing that out there, a quick video, uh, maybe save yourself the time. Uh, the, these these uh, adapters are not a complete waste of my money uh, because you know I, there is other things I could use them for in the future, but still kind of disappointing because they are being advertised as um, capable of. Yeah, now they do fit <laughs> that uh, that barrel style connector there, uh, but they do not charge the Bofang radios that I have been able to find. Now, maybe some of you that has um, had a little more uh, experience with this could, tell, you know, could uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong here, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is a, <clears throat> is the point that it is because it is more than 12 volts is why. And let me just do something real quick here and show you. Lastly, before I wrap this up, you see there's it hooked up to the wall and then now it's not it might not flash because the batteries are fully charged but still you're still getting that solid red light which to me and it doesn't never changes tells me that there's see now I'm gonna get it's charging so okay so you see there I I, I just step stop for a second because I according to the one I think it was at least the way I, I read the back it was supposed to be blinking uh, red when charging but it looks like just solid red so it's charging uh, the difference I guess between wall power and that is it oh it stays red all the time um, and I guess maybe um, I, like I said, I swapped out the charge cradle with a, a newer one just to see if make sure that I hadn't damaged this one. So something to consider uh, if you, um, you use one of these, there's potential that you could damage something inside there. I'm sure it's a very minimal circuitry because I mean they, they receive it 10, 10, uh, 10 volts in and uh, put out uh, there. So there's a little bit of step down uh, 8.4 volts at 400 milliamps. So I said thanks for watching. This is Nomad76. Um, like I said, if you have anything to provide, please uh, please leave a comment down below. Thank you.